Electric vehicles are more common than ever before. Not only do they create almost no emissions at all, but in many cases, they perform way better than gas vehicles. In fact, many even believe EVs might just be safer than gas vehicles overall. But whenever you look at EV news, one type of news story will be constant. Tesla catches fire, or any other EV catches fire. The problem has gotten so bad that it's ruining people's perception of electric vehicles. So why is that happening? In this video, we'll be answering that and and a few more safety concerns regarding electric cars. So without any further ado, let's dive in. Before we talk about why EVs are catching fire, let's talk about why it's such a controversial subject. For years, we heard the likes of Tesla telling us about all of the different safety features that their EVs have in comparison to conventional cars. In all honesty, Tesla sort of tried to make it seem like their cars were virtually indestructible. They had come up with all of these safety gimmicks like object detection, pedestrian detection, auto stops, suspension adjustments, and stuff like that. Back when Teslas weren't really that common on the road, people really started to believe that EVs might just be unbreakable or safer than usual cars. Naturally, this perception carried on to other EVs as well. But soon enough, EVs started to become more and more popular on the roads, and people started to see some of the problems that these cars can have. EVs are no different from any other consumer product, so it was only natural. But only this time, EVs had such a reputation of being safe that people were outright shocked at every time there was a problem. So what happened? Well, a lot of EVs outright caught fire. That's about the last thing you'd want to happen to a car, and considering there's no fuel in electric cars, it was even more shocking that they'd catch fire. So now, let's get to the bottom of why EVs catch fire and whether it's something that the average consumer should worry about. First of all, it's important to understand that you don't need fuel to start a fire. Fires can occur due to all sorts of reasons. The most common reasons why EVs in particular catch fire is mainly due to battery issues. Once batteries reach a certain temperature, they will catch fire like any other fuel source. There are a lot of reasons why a battery might heat up. It could be because of the external temperature, a hot car being left to bake under the sun, or because of an excessive overload. But of course, most EV manufacturers have come up with precautions to deal with these issues. Most modern car batteries will automatically shut off when their internal temperature reaches around 45 to 55 degrees Celsius. This is well below the maximum temperature that these batteries can normally function at, which is around 65 to 75 degrees Celsius. So why do they still catch fire? Well, this is usually due to short circuits that lead to uncontrolled currents. These uncontrolled currents can lead to batteries heating themselves up to over over 100 degrees, if not significantly more than that. Even then, there is only a marginal chance that the battery will catch on fire, but if it does, it can be deadly. The vast majority of EV fires are caused by short circuits. Now, what actually causes these short circuits? It could come down to just bad designs. This is why EV fires are a lot more common among Chinese companies and small EV manufacturers than they are with Tesla. But even if you have a Tesla, short circuits can happen. This can usually come down to your charging source. Even if you have the best design in the world, a faulty charger can kill your internal wiring. After all, you wouldn't connect your fridge or your PS5 to an unstable power source, right? The same thing happens with cars. The chances of a short circuit can also greatly increase if you immediately charge a depleted lithium-ion battery before it has a chance to cool down. The battery takes 10 to 20 minutes to cool down. This isn't a problem that we just see with cars. In fact, this is surprisingly common with phones as well. After all, who can forget Samsung's infamous Galaxy Note 7 debacle? Just like how that phone was recalled in the millions, similar things have happened to EVs because of fires. The Chevy Bolt is one of the world's best-selling electric cars. By 2020, it had sold over 100,000 units, but that was also the year that it went through its biggest scandal to date. A lot of Chevy Bolts started to spontaneously catch on fire. The first few incidents were largely ignored, but after that, the problem just kept getting worse and worse. Eventually, GM acknowledged the problem and advised all Bolt owners to park their cars 50 feet away from other vehicles. They specifically said that the car can spontaneously catch on fire. That year, Chevy announced that they would recall around 60,000 bolts that were produced from 2017 to 2019, while claiming that future models didn't have this problem. However, after more than a few fire incidents, some of which caused injuries, GM was forced to recall all 142,000 Chevy bolts in 2021. The estimated damages that GM has to face because of this is 
estimated to be at around $1.8 billion. GM will replace all of the batteries with new LG Chem batteries, which are notably safer. GM is not the only company that has faced backlash due to EV fires either. Tesla was probably the first EV company to face such problems. Model S fire incidents can date back to around 2013, when two separate car accidents resulted in both Model S catching fire. There's also the problem of EV fires being much more dangerous than regular fuel fires. For example, if a gas vehicle catches fire, a fire extinguisher would be enough to put it out. In fact, a lot of people actually travel with fire extinguishers wherever they go, especially if they're traveling long distances. But it's important to note that not all fuel burns the exact same way. Lithium-ion fires are particularly strong. In many cases, a single portable fire extinguisher would not be enough to put it out. They are some of the most difficult fires to extinguish. And because of this, many of the top EV manufacturers, including Tesla, GM, and Nissan, have had to release guides for firefighters on how they can handle lithium fires. If you wanted an idea of just how difficult these fires are to extinguish, just take a look at this story. In 2022, a Tesla Model S was left sitting in a junkyard after it just stopped working. Three weeks after arriving at the junkyard, its battery caught fire out of nowhere. The workers described it as a spontaneous explosion. Thankfully, firefighters were able to make it to the scene on time, but it took over 30,000 gallons of water to put out the fire. In comparison, the average fire truck can carry anywhere from 500 to 750 gallons of water inside them. The high-end fire trucks that can cost up to $1 million carry up to 1,500 gallons. You would need 20 of the best fire trucks in the world, or around 40 regular fire trucks, to put out the fire caused by a single Model S. This is by far the most terrifying thing about these fires. It's not the frequency of the fires, but rather the intensity of them. In fact, EVs are a lot less likely to catch on fire. If you hop into an EV right now, there is a 0.3% chance it's going to catch on fire. With gas vehicles, those odds are around 1.05%. This hypothetically makes EVs a lot safer than gas vehicles. But here's the thing. With gas vehicles, you need one or maybe two fire extinguishers to put out the fire. With EVs, you need an entire firefighter army to put it out. Because of the increasing pressures from regulatory authorities on Tesla, the company announced in December of 2021 that it would be recalling almost half a million Model 3 and Model S units from customers to address these issues. Additionally, it also recalled over 200,000 cars from China for the same issues. But overall, are these fires going to be the downfall of EVs? That's highly unlikely. As you can see, EV sales are increasing year after year despite the general downward trend of the automobile industry over the past few years. With time, many of the spontaneous fire problems are going to be addressed by the top companies, but they need to be transparent about these problems first and actually address them. They cannot downplay these incidents because even though statistically they might not be likely to catch fire, the dangers of these fires are much greater. It'll be interesting to see what sort of new safety features that EV makers will come up with in the future. But until then, we'll just have to hope that our cars don't spontaneously combust the moment we step into them. And that's a wrap for this video. Do you think EVs are safe? Let us know in the comments below. As always, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.